In this problem, we're told a person walks in the following pattern, 3.1 kilometers north, then 2.4 kilometers west, and finally 5.2 kilometers south. A, sketch the vector diagram that represents this motion, B, how far, and C, in what direction would a bird fly in a straight line from the same starting point to the same final point. So let's go ahead and solve this. So let's draw a diagram what's going on. So we know uh, this person, right, is going to walk 3.1 kilometers north. So this is going to be north, uh, east, south, west. So it's going to go north, 3.1 km, and then it's going to go 2.4 km west. It's going to go this way, 2.4 kilometers, and then finally 5.2 km south. So it's going to be a bit longer than this, right? So 5.2 kilometers. And so what we want to do here is form a triangle of what their actual distance looks like. So essentially, if this is their starting point and this is their final point, we want to make a triangle out of this, right? So imagine this line connecting here, and then we can draw a line like this straight across, and that's going to be our triangle. And what we do know is we know this distance here, and we know this distance here, right? Because this distance here is going to be the same as this distance, uh, this distance right here. So you can just see that, right? So 2.4 kilometers but what about this distance right here so if we know this whole thing is 5.2 then this is 3.1 this distance right here is just going to be 5.2 minus 3.1 right so if we do that you're going to get that this equals 2.1 kilometers and so i'm going to redraw this triangle over here a bit bigger so here is our triangle and so this is 2.4 kilometers and you can label it negative if you want I'm going to go ahead and do that, actually, because we're going to the left. And generally, when you go to the left, you go negative. And when you go down, you go negative. Up and right, it's positive. So just minus 2.4, minus 2.1. And so what we're trying to do is find how far, right? So this is going to be our vector diagram, essentially. And so for B, we're trying to find how far they go. So this is their distance of how far they actually go. This was just the path they actually took, or the imaginary path, right? We just drew it in. So essentially... In order to find this length right here, you have to use Pythagorean theorem, right? So if I label this side A, this side B, this side C, the Pythagorean theorem tells us C squared equals A squared plus B squared, right? So this side squared plus this side squared equals this side squared. So if we want to find just this side, you can just take the square root of the other side squared, right? So the square root of A squared plus B squared. And so let's go ahead and do that. So C is going to be equal to the square root of minus 2.1 squared plus minus uh, 2.4 squared. So if you go ahead and do this, it's going to give us this length right here. So if you do it, C will equal 3.189. And I'm going to round to the tenths place here, so 3.2 kilometers. So C is going to be 3.2 kilometers. So how far? This right here is your answer to be 3.2 kilometers. Let's do C now. So in what direction uh, would a bird... So essentially, in order to solve this, what we need to do is find an angle. And so the angle that we're going to find is this angle right here. And then we're going to describe the direction based on like north, south, east, and west. So how do we find this angle though? Right. So this is going to be the angle direction. And we do that by taking the tangent, the arc tangent, of your y component, right? So your change in y, which is minus 2.1 in this case, over your change in x which is minus 2.4, correct? So it's going to be uh, the arc tangent of your change in y, or your y component, over your x component. And if you do this, you're going to get 41.189 and so on, or 41.1859 and so on. Uh, I'm just going to round it here to 41.19 degrees. You can round however you want, essentially, but that's how I'm rounding it. And so this is going to be this angle right here, but we have to add a little bit more. So the direction is going to be 41.19 uh, degrees south of west, right? Because this direction is going to be west. We know that, right? North, east, south, west. But it's going to be uh, 41.9 degrees, right? South of this, right? Because we're going south, uh, the direction of south. So you really say 41.19 or however you want to round it. Uh, 41.19. 19 degrees south of west. So that's just a way you would describe it. So the direction it's going to go is 
3.19 degrees south of west and uh, how far it travels is 3.2 kilometers and so hopefully you found this video useful